What is that? Possibly a spider, maybe a cricket. A little piece of aluminum foil. Can't believe I poured that in my chainsaw. Morning guys, welcome back to the channel, OG Outdoors. I was out here last Saturday, I was finishing up working through some of this tree service wood I had delivered about a month ago. I was getting into the last few rounds split up. I had a fire going, burning some of the trash. And I hear something, I look up, and lo and behold, here comes the tree service dump truck with another loader. Had a big load of red oak. I'm not complaining, but I, it was good to almost be caught up. But he's dumped that on me, so I got to get started with that. We had a big storm roll through last night, so it's pretty breezy today. A little cold front working in. So I'm going to keep you all in some strange locations with the camera, try to keep you out of the wind. But I guess you saw the title about the bar oil. I guess you know where I'm headed with this, but... Stick around and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing to make my own bar oil. I need to get this chain loosened up first thing. I sharpened my saw the other day and when I do, I tighten the chain down pretty tight so it doesn't wiggle as much on the bar. So I forgot to loosen that up. So let me get this loosened up real quick. This is what I normally run, just tractor supply, the county line brand. I'm in the process of doing my taxes and I found a receipt last year in June, June of 21, I was paying like $9.99 for this, $10 a gallon. The last time I bought some, it was probably in the fall, it was $12 a gallon. And my saw shop for the name brand stuff or the Echo stuff, it was 14, pushing $15 a gallon. Like I said, that was back in the fall. I'd hate to know what it is now, but I finally said enough's enough. So. I've come up with a solution. So I get a lot of comments about this piece of PVC I carry around my back pocket. I just like it working through this tree service wood, especially if I got mixed up lengths and stuff, cause it's always here. I mean, it may be a little slower than going through marking everything, but if you go through and mark everything and then you get in there and you find a knot and it, you get off and it doesn't work out right, you can always adjust if you got the stick. Like this little short piece here, I almost measured off this knot end and cut this way. And that way I would have wasted the good piece. Saw that. Switch the stick back, marked it off, and now I got the knot as waste. So I think it helps reduce the waste and the mess. But so far, also, the saw hadn't exploded, it's still cutting good.
what I'm doing. I've got this jug here and it says it's bad used, so that means it's burnt motor oil. I don't know if it came from the Polaris Ranger, my truck, my car, maybe a lawnmower. Who knows, but anyway, but all I'm doing, I cut, got me a funnel and I've cut a t-shirt. I started out with a coffee filter. That wasn't gonna happen in my lifetime. It would probably take me about three weeks to make the, my first pint. So I'm just pouring in here this burnt motor oil through the funnel. And just letting it drain through the t-shirt into my bar oil jug. Same bar oil jug I had earlier that I just filled up the chainsaw out of. Y'all saw that? It goes through pretty quickly. Like I was saying earlier, after seeing the prices of bar oil and everything and talking to some old timers presently and in the past, you know, that's what they did. They burnt use burnt motor oil to run it through their, for their bar oil. I hadn't had anybody tell me they had problems doing it, been doing it forever, so I don't know. My, my chainsaw may self-destruct here in two weeks, who knows? I don't think it will, but uh, this is what I'm doing. Y'all can see, show that draining, see it's draining right through there. Uh, trying to keep from getting it everywhere, but there's the oil draining through the t-shirt into my bar oil jug. So I'm probably not gonna run straight burnt motor oil in my saws because I don't have enough, but I gotta change the oil in the tractor so there's nine quarts, 10 quarts. The car is kind of iffy, it just runs like zero W or five W20 or something. I may sling that 30 feet, I don't know. I'm gonna try it though, but because I mean that chainsaw, my, I bought that Timberwolf Echo CS590. I bought it used. I paid right around $300 for it. I think it hadn't been run much. You could tell by looking at it and the, the sprocket wasn't even hardly worn at all. But I mean, I can pay for that saw. If I went out and bought $15 a gallon borrow, I mean, I pay for that saw in less than two years just on the money I save from running the burnt motor oil. I, it saves me the trouble of having to, I mean, I, I always bottle this stuff up, so then I have to find out a way to gotta take it off and dispose of it. This way I can just run it on the chainsaw and dispose of it that way and save myself some money. See what I poured in there, it's almost gone. I've done this a couple times. I mean, as far as, I've been running the bar oil probably, I don't know, two months. And like, I have not had any issues. I can't tell any adverse effects, I mean, as far as the performance of the saw or any wear and tear on the chain or the bar. There shouldn't be, I mean, this t-shirt probably isn't gonna filter out everything, but I don't know, I guess it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. I haven't, like I said, I'm not gonna run strictly just bar oil. I mean, just burnt motor oil, but I will be running quite a bit in the future unless I, there's some adverse effect I don't know about. But so far, I'm pleased. And if you've been around this channel any at all, you know I'm all about the most cost-effective solution, and I'm loving this solution. Currently, I've got a, like I say, I've got another gallon here. Actually, that's a five quart container. So needless to say, I won't be buying any bar oil for the, for the near future. So I know this was kind of a short, quick one, but uh, if you like my videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification icon. You'll know when I put out new videos, but let me know what you think about this. I mean, I, I'm sure I'm going to get put on a hit list for this, but, you know, leave me, leave me some comments and let me know if you've had, you know anybody that's done this or bad experiences from doing this or, on the other hand, good experiences. But like always, I'm going to catch you on the next one. I thank you for watching, and I will see you later.